Okay, here's a relaxing activity, you guys. Um, I kind of overcooked my chickpeas, so the little peels came off. I mean, you can leave them in there, but I'm just relaxing, sifting through. See, I got all those out. Today I'm going to make something with Mediterranean flavors, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick hummus recipe. I just cooked these chickpeas, drained them, rinsed them, and we're going to use simple butter on there to your taste. And I'm going to make, I have this, um, like one olive left, jalapeno olives. They're really good, but I'm going to use the juice. Some black pepper. That's a neat thing about hummus, you can make different flavors. I'm gonna give it a whiz. Oh wait, we need to add water. You can add oil in there. You can put the amount of oil you like. Okay, now this is going to be the dressing for our salad. And this was chickpeas, garlic, olive juice from uh, this, and um, it's pretty delicious. The reason I like these is because they're quick and easy, and they're pretty tasty too. So we're gonna make a falafel salad. We're just gonna thaw those out. Okay, we're gonna start assembling our salad. Here are our components. Romaine lettuce, washed and dried. Cucumber, cilantro, little bit of green onion to use, some red onion, there's our dressing we just made, some little tomatoes, and we're going to crumble those falafel pieces and we're also going to put pita chips in this. This was more lettuce than I thought. enough and um, I didn't have parsley so we're going to add cilantro that'll kind of add a little bit of a complex flavor and I think it's all right in this you could also add roast up some garlic cloves and add those. I just thought I had enough garlic in the dressing. But sometimes I might. This is... I just thawed these out in the microwave and kind of crumble them up into, I do about five of them, which is a serving, you know, this will serve two or three people this salad for a big salad meal, maybe even more. I love falafel salad. Although I usually like to get the Stacy's P 
pita chips or make my own. Um, I, by make my own, I'm really, I really mean by cutting up pita bread and baking it in the oven. I've had, I have made it from, I have made it from scratch before too, but usually I bake the pre-made pita that you get from the bakery. Now I'm going to add pita chips. these I don't know they're they're thinner than the Stacy's and crunch these up and if you're like me and you go to the cultural markets, I have this Zartar, it says um, it has blended with sumac, toasted sesame, rusted lemon, salt, and spices by the Palestinian women of Jenin City. So yeah, giant bag of that. Might as well sprinkle some of that on there. Good look around and see what's in your pantry, right? Really, um, to me, it just sort of tastes salty. I think you're supposed to bake it on, on bread, but um, this is what we're doing today. I think it was prettier before I mixed it up. put olive oil or a nice homemade dressing. You could put lemon juice, hummus, whatever you come up with that is flavored Mediterranean. Mmm. Just made this falafel salad. Give it a taste. 